Farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another hated video. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a little update on my journey of preparing for Triple XP week starting in the game from 19th of December till 26th of December. Whole next week, there's going to be a Triple XP week in the game. But the thing that's different this time is that there are only going to be trucks. There's going to be no Triple XP boat event because we're already having this uh, gift wrapping station boat event, and I think they cannot have two boat events in the game simultaneously because this can cause problems. So yeah, that's the reason we are just going to be having the triple XP truck events. And I actually have no problems with them. I usually prefer the trucks over the boats. I don't have to wait for like four hours just for my boat to come. And I'm also going to be sharing with you guys some of the tips that you can use to prepare for any XP event that comes into the game because XP events are really helpful to level up faster in the game, whether you're a low-level player, you're a mid-level player, or you're just a high-level player who has a passion for leveling up fast, these can be really effective. So I'm just going to get started with my game. Let's do my crops over here. Got some potatoes. All right, we got one saw. My pepper is still not ready. I have to wait for another one hour and eight minutes. And I think I'm just going to go with wheat over here. Yeah, let's do my wheat. And I think I'm going to come to the main topic right now. Now, if you guys have been following my journey, you know that I'm not a rusher. I don't rush levels. And I've been playing all the XP events in the game for the past couple of years very casually. I never went insane on them. Like, I never sent thousands of trucks. I think the most amount of trucks that I've sent in one day is just 158. And even this was like five years ago. I remember this was in 2017 when I was really crazy about level 100. The past couple of years, I've not been sending a lot of trucks. I just play the XP events or all the XP weeks casually. I didn't really bother myself preparing for all this. I was like, I'm just going to do whatever I can. Let's just say that I never got out of my comfort zone. But this time, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to sort of go on this little adventure of doing something that I was always scared of, that I never really cared about. Because I think sometimes you really should do things that you usually don't do. So I'm actually going to get out of my comfort zone. And I am really preparing for this triple XP week this time because I do have plans to level up. Again, I am not sure if this is going to help me uh, because I've never rush levels before. And no, I'm not against rushers if you're thinking. I have no problems if that's your playing style. I have a lot of friends who like to rush levels and I think it's cool, but it's just the way that I never chose to play the game. So that's the reason I just play casually. But I mean, even without rushing, I still sometimes used to level up fast because um, that's how I played the game. I played a lot of town. I did all my stuff regularly, so I never had an issue with leveling up in this game. Anyways, now coming back to the tips. So the very important tip for any XP weeks, XP trucks, town boat is you have to make sure your barn is full of products because literally the whole XP week or the event is going to cost you a lot of products. The more products you have in your barn, the more trucks you're going to send and the more XP you'll be able to accumulate. That means you'll be able to level up faster. Now, of course, time really matters. So if you're a student, you work, you might not be able to send a lot of trucks just like I do. Or even when I was free, to be very honest, I never had that kind of energy to sit and send thousands of trucks at once. Okay, maybe not thousands, maybe like a hundred trucks at once. I just could never do that. Let's just say that I used to get distracted really fast and I just started doing something else rather than just sending trucks. But I'm really making up my mind. So this probably is not a tip, but I'm just gonna say, make sure you have a mindset of sending trucks and you mentally prepare before the event starts so that you know what you're going to do. Maybe it's just my little bad habit that I can never do something properly and I always get distracted. So yeah, make sure you have a proper mindset and you prepare yourself that you are going to send trucks, no matter how many, um, even if you're not preparing for this XP week and you just plan to send some trucks casually, I'm going to say still prepare. But if you're actually preparing, then mindset is really important. So that's going to be my first little tip, which might not be a tip, but still whatever. My we just got ready. I think we need to plant some more crops over here. Let's plant some sugar canes. All right, so I was talking about the barn and the products. So make sure you have a lot of products in your barn. Now, this depends on what your level is in the game. Let's just say that you're level 70, you're level 80, you're level 90. You're going to have less products as compared to the people that are on higher levels. So it's going to be kind of easier for you to have all the products in higher amounts in your barn. So, because at my level, there's so many products that we have to keep in our barn. And it's not always easy to keep 20 to 30 of every product. Plus, it also depends what your barn space is. Now, one thing you might be noticing is that I don't have a lot of tools in my barn as I always used to do before. So what I did, I transferred all my tools from my barn, which were a lot of saws, axes, bolts, tapes. I do have a few of them. Yeah, actually, I do have a lot of them, but I transferred 
most of them to my baby farms because I feel like the tools were taking up a lot of space in my barn and they were just so extra. I mean, I was not even using them, especially in lots of saws and excess. So I transferred those to my baby farm so that I could just store the products in my barn. So if you're really planning to do a lot of trucks, then make sure your barn is just not full of the tools. I'm also planning to sell these to my friends. Uh, these land tools don't have to store them because I certainly don't need them. Different case for you because if you're a low level player, then you might not have a lot of tools. But I am sure that a lot of higher level players, players, or even mid level players can relate to this thing that we always have a lot of tools stored in our barns that we don't use. Now, if you don't have a baby farm, don't worry, you can sell them to your friend or you can use them. Make sure you upgrade your barn if you can. And even when you can't do anything, don't worry, just sell so that you still have some space to keep the products. Now, I made over a thousand space when I transferred all of my tools, and I was really happy. I thought this would be a great time to stock up on the products. Now, coming to the products, this is my second tip. Make sure you have at least 20 to 25 of every product in your barn. Again, this is no compulsion. The more products you have, the better it is. You can also have 50 or even 100 of products. As I said, the more products, the better. Because this is also going to depend on what your barn is. My barn currently is 7,100, so I definitely cannot store 50 of all the products. But I've seen people over 10,000 barns that keep about hundreds and fifties of all the products in their barns. So it's really going to come down to your barn space. What I've decided to do with my preparation is I'm going to keep at least 20 to 25 of all the products. This is going to take a lot of time because if you guys can have a look at my barn, I have a lot of products that are in the range of 20 or more than 20 and a lot of them over 15. So you can see these are some of the products that I have less than 14 and I might have to work on that. So, so you can see that I have a lot of products in my barn and there's some that I still have in the zero amount. Actually, not in the zero amount, but that are way lesser. Now, time also matters. If you're planning to prepare for an XP week, you will have to start preparing for this whole thing. I'm going to say seven to eight days before so that you can actually have a lot of the products because I just started two to three days ago. And that's the reason I'm still missing a lot of products that I don't have in the amount of 10 to 20. Third tip would be keep your machines running. Don't stop them. They are extremely important. I see a lot of people make this mistake that their machines are always stopped. So you don't have to stop your machines. You have to keep them running when you're going out, when you're sleeping. Make sure you make sure they're completely filled. Now, this is the reason I always say to people that expand your slots on the machines because this can be extremely helpful. I know it doesn't sound helpful when you're just starting out. But trust me, at the end of the day, it's all worth it. So make sure that your machines are always running and you're making a lot of products all the time. It doesn't matter what products you're making. Your goal should be to keep at least 15 to 20 of all the products. Now, you don't have to keep 15 to 20. You can also keep 10, depends on your level, depends on the amount of products your barn can hold. You can even do more, but I'm just going with 20 to 25. So you can see that I made a lot of products. All my slots are opened and overnight I can make loads and loads of products and everything helps a lot. I think my barn's going to get full in one or two days. So uh, this is going to be really tough, but I'll just keep it bringing because Monday is just about to come. I think there's going to be two days left. See, so yeah, I'm really excited. And of course, I've been making a lot of bars. So never stop your machines. Always keep them running. Make sure you're always making the products, no matter how many products you need. If you have more of them, then make the ones that you're missing. Just keep about 10 to 15 of all the products. And most of them should be over 20. It would be hi Tom. And yes, this is what I did. As you can see, I just ordered some salt. Tom is extremely helpful. He's really effective. I usually don't hire him. I only hire him when I need the stuff for the XP events. And I've been hiring him for the past two days. I do have the boosters, so it's really good for me. I basically use an alarm when I have to use him because otherwise I just forget. Now, if you don't know, there's some products in the game that can give you a lot of amount of XP. For example, I know the chocolate over here, the jelly bean, and the same products from the candy machine, the honey peanuts, and the sesame brittle, probably. Now, some of these products can give you a crazy amount of XP, even normally, without any XP events. And imagine when it's a triple XP event. You, you can get up to 10 to 20,000 XP just by filling these trucks that ask for the candy products. So... Make sure you have a lot of them. And I think that's what I'm going to be doing now. Usually I use Tom for all the products. I used to use Tom in the past for the dairy products. Now I have a lot of dairy products. I trade them, so it's not going to be a problem for me. And yes, you can also trade. It's going to be a bit hard to find a good trader these days just because everyone is looking for dairy. But if you can find, if you're lucky enough, then I think that would be good. Otherwise, you can hire Tom for the dairy or any of the raw materials like honey, 
these bags. Um, sauce maker items are really important, so make sure you use Tom for that. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I've actually hired Tom on all my baby farms, and I've been using him on two of my other farms for the past two days to store a lot of product. Talk about that later. So now I'm gonna use Tom for, let's see what I can do. I might use him for mayonnaise. I think that would be good. Or I could use him for the chocolates. I think I already have a lot of chocolates. Yeah, I'm gonna use him for the mayonnaise, so he's gonna run away and he will come back. Till then I can just wake up my pets. But seriously, what really matters is the products. You will have to keep your machines running. You can trade the products if you want. You can hire Tom. He's really effective, really helpful with all the products. So that's what your goal should be. That's what you should be really focusing on to have as many products as you can in your barn. Okay, there we go. And some of the products like dairy, sauce maker items, pasta, make sure you have a lot of them because when you're sending trucks, you're going to need those to make other products and they run low very quickly. You're not even going to notice. I use hundreds of dairy products in a couple of hours. I, I make so many products and they just get used a lot. So that's something that you should also be doing. Some of the machines are important, so make sure you always keep them running. You can hire Ernest if you want for your sugar mill and even if you don't, that's I think completely okay. Here comes Tom. All right, I'm just going to send him. Now, let's quickly jump to my baby farms and see what I'm doing there as well. All right, so I'm currently at my level 61 farm. Now, baby farms are extremely, extremely helpful with lots of things. You can use the sauce maker if you have. You can also make sugars over here. Dairy, like you can see that I'm doing. And of course, you can make honey or bees bags. I'm sure a lot of people at this point have baby farms, but if you don't, you can create one. And even if you don't have one for some reason, I think it's okay. But you'll need to do just a bit more work than than the people who have baby farms. Now, if I come over here to my barn, you, you can have a look that I have some of the products stored here as well. My barn space is 700 here, which is just low, I know, because I never really focused on upgrading the barn here. But you can see I have a good amount of chocolate, jelly beans, speeze bags, um, oil. I'll be transferring all this to my main farm. I was planning to do this now, but I feel like my barn is going to be so full. So I'll probably um, transfer them the time I start sending trucks and this way I will not fill up my barn and the products will keep going away from there. And yes, as I said, I was also using Tom on my baby farms. This is another tip. This is also helpful. You can use Tom on multiple of your farms. I don't have to worry about spending diamonds to hire him. I already got a ton of Tom boosters over the past few years that I've not been using a lot of them. So let's see what I'm going to use Tom here for. Um, I did store a lot of ice creams on my other farm, so I think here I will probably go with lots of cakes now, and probably the cheesecake. Yeah, let's go with the cheesecake. And you don't have to ask Tom just for the sugar products, the dairy, the sauce maker, no. You can ask him for any of the products. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, because when you're going to start selling the trucks, you're going to use all kind of products. So this is the mistake that I used to make in the beginning. I almost hired Tom for sugars, for dairy. I will not ask for any of the products. I was like, I'll make them myself. Of course you can make them yourself, but hiring Tom would be beneficial to spend a lot of time just making these products. And as I said, the more products you have, the easier it is going to be for you to send trucks. And then of course, you will be able to make a lot of XP. And of course, if you have machines on your baby farms, you can run them. I do have a couple of machines, but unfortunately, I don't run them. I basically don't make anything here. Not that I don't care, but actually don't do this because this is not my way of playing. The only machines that I run here are the dairy. I usually make a lot of uh, goat cheese. I would transfer a lot of goat milk from my main farm. I will run the dairy. I'm just going to put some cheese. I also make a lot of jams at this farm and I was making the sugars, I remember. So let's put some white sugar as well. And of course, the sauce maker, which is really important. So again, baby farms can be very beneficial. You can, you know, store extra crops here. Like here, I store indigos and tomatoes. I make tomato juice and I also make the roasted tomatoes. So here I got some cheesecakes and my barn is just about to get full. Let's jump to my next baby farm and see what's happening there. So here I am at my level 48 farm. I make a lot of honey over here. You can see I've got 21 of honey. I've been making a lot of cotton fabrics. Oh my gosh, I have 45, that's gonna be helpful. And of course, I make jam here as well. So some of these machines can be really beneficial. And yes, I did hire Tom at this farm too. Oops, I already honored the cheesecake. Well, that's good. My barn is full, so you can see I have a lot of items stored. You know what, I'm just gonna sell the saws and excess. I'm gonna transfer them to probably my main farm because I don't want them here. They just fill up my barn. Okay, so yeah, let's see what I can use Tom here for. I do have all the ice creams, I believe, at this farm. Yeah, 18 of all the ice creams. Honey popcorn is good. I do have a lot of honey cakes, 
jams are kind of okay. I think I'm just gonna order some of the cakes. Let's go with chocolate cake. Yes, that's what we're going to do. And I'm gonna wait for Tom to come. I still feel like Tom is kind of slow because I have to wait a lot. Or maybe it's just that I'm very impatient, like I can't wait for him to come. Uh, but yeah, baby farms, as I said, are really helpful. You can also use your fishing area to get a lot of fish fillet, lobsters, and duck feathers, so it's really helpful. All right, let's send him for the chocolate cake. I'll be starting transferring these products to my main farm as soon as I start setting the trucks. I ask him for the jewelry items, a lot of cakes, ice creams, and I'm planning to hire Tom for the next two days as well. And I will hopefully be stocking up on all these products. I want to get a lot of hamburgers, uh, the fish and chips. The problem is when you're a high level player, there's so many products that you have to keep in your barn. So yeah, that's I'm gonna say is a little downside of being a high level player, having a lot of products, because it's kind of hard to keep a good stock of all of them. Unless you have like tens of baby farms, you trade massively, and you hire Tom all the time, which I never used to do, but I'm doing this time. So I just hope this goes well. Again, I don't know how much XP I'll be able to make. I'll definitely be giving you guys more update when the truck even starts, and we'll see how much XP I'll be able to make. But yeah, that's what currently I've been doing, running my machines continuously, filling up all of their slots, hiring Tom on three of my baby farms, making some of the products on my baby farms, and yeah, just making sure that I have a good amount of all the products. I have some products that have over 40, a lot of stews, um, chili popcorn, egg and bacon. Now make sure that you also keep checking the newspaper because sometimes you can find a lot of good stuff. Like I just found some stuff over here that I'm gonna purchase. So never miss your opportunity of looking in the paper because you never know when you find good stuff. See, 10 popsicles. This is just, I'm being extremely lucky over here and some key cows as well. Today is my day. Well, I just lost them, but I'm gonna get 10 raspberries. So yeah, that was all about this video. That's what I wanted to talk about. This is how I'm preparing for my triple XP this time. And yes, this is the first time I'm working hard on this. Really, I've never really done a lot of preparation for XP events before. I always used to wonder how do people level up two to three levels just in a single day or maybe during the XP week. Now I know what they do. They actually keep 40 to 50 of all the products. I never used to do this. I used to play very casually. I will have 10 to 15 of the products. Some of them I will have in the five amount. I'll just send trucks casually, normally, not caring how much XP I make. But that's a lot of hard work. And I think at the end of the day, it's worth it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what are your goals for the triple XP week. Are you planning to play casually? Or are you going to send a lot of trucks to level up 10 times or five times? Two times, leave me a comment, give this video a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more Haiti content coming. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.